Okay. I hope you can hear me. Because the sound works just fine on this end. Okay. Please let me know other people. If, any, if there's anybody who can hear me here, please let me know. Can you hear me? Please let me know that you can hear me. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for the feedback you should have asked at the beginning. Um, but thank you. I hope you can still hear me. I hope you can still hear me now that I've removed um, my screen. I hope you can still hear me. All right, thank you. All right, thank you for the feedback. If for some reason you can't hear again, just let me know and get started. All right, thanks. You can still hear me, great. So I'm not gonna be sharing my face today, I'm just gonna be sharing my screen, okay? All right. Um, people saying that they can't hear me. I, I really hope I haven't gone off. And um, everybody can still hear me um, as at this time. Maybe for people who are joining that are a bit late, that uh, yeah, systems are lagging or something, people are the ones that can't hear me now. All right. Okay. Just to be sure, I'm just going to test it on my end be sure that I can hear. All right. Okay. Awesome. I can hear myself. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So for people who um uh, joining in and you know, probably might they are having some lag they probably will not be able to hear me they have to catch up so they have to fast forward their live broadcast so they can join but welcome to the workshop my name is Edimi Edewa and I'll be teaching you how to identify scalable multiple streams of income if you're a writer and author you've been writing content on social media you've been writing blog articles you've been writing stuff on Facebook groups You've been writing your own books as well, but you find it very difficult to actually scale. You find it difficult to be able to create multiple streams of income or even the multiple streams of income that you have, you find it very difficult to scale those ones. I understand how you feel because I have been there before myself. I used to be in your situation four years ago when I would just, all I was doing was just writing content on Facebook groups, writing content on my own Facebook groups and I was barely doing anything to actually make money. I thought, just like probably a whole lot of people thought that, oh, once you start writing and you're writing good and you're posting on all the social media posts, somebody will just discover you and gain, change your life. Maybe you have like a writing contract to become an editor for a magazine or to start writing blog articles where you get paid or somebody's going to pay you to write their books or stuff like that. Now, while that usually happens in very rare occasions, it doesn't happen all the time. It doesn't always happen like that, all right? So how do you ensure that from the get-go, you are able to create an income stream and then use that one particular income stream to multiply your earning potential? That is what I'm going to be sharing with you today okay that is what i'm going to be sharing exactly with you today so your learning outcomes what i'm going to share with you very quickly is 10 reasons why you're not making the sale if you're on my facebook group you've seen me post this before so i'm not going to spend so much time on it i'm just going to do a recap for people who probably missed that particular post and um, then i'm going to share with you how you can repurpose your knowledge and content for more money i'll share different ways in which you can do that and then i'll share with you the best two places to get started with in building multiple streams of income. 
Then I'm going to be sharing with you the secret to scalable income offers. If you're on my Facebook group or on my email list, you know I've been talking about offers since. And I've been talking about how you don't want to sell products. You want to sell offers. It's better for you to be able to scale when you are focusing on offers than when you're actually doing just products. There is a huge difference. There is a huge mindset that differentiates the two. And then I'm going to finally show you my secret offer implementation plan. All right, this is going to be for very, very specific people who are really interested in implementing immediately, who are ready to take the bull by the horn and get ready to and actually implement and start earning in seven figures immediately, okay? So first things first, why you are not making the sale? You are a writer, you are an author, you've been trying to do other things with your writing skills and, your, and the knowledge that you know, Many people who write, write from knowledge, write from experiences that they've learned, their skills, and so on and so forth. However, it's hard to make money. And even when you're making money, it's not consistent. It's few and far between. It's a struggle to actually go into every single month not knowing exactly how much you're going to earn. Your income is very unpredictable. Your sales cycles are very, very, very poor. You'll find yourself struggling to make... 100k per month 50k per month 200k per month and you're seeing other people making absolutely obscene amounts of money and you're wondering why you can read their content and you can even tell that you even maybe know more than them you can tell that you're taking a lot of courses a lot of classes you've done so many things you've taken all the sales classes you've taken all the classes on how to build different types of products you've done all these things you've joined the masterminds you've gotten a coach yet you're still not making the sale there is a lot of things that could be the reason for this. The first thing could be that you have a mindset challenge that hasn't yet matched your goal. I shared something, and I'm going to share it again at the end of the class, that if you look at your limitations, you are going to keep them, all right? If you make excuses for your limitations, you are going to keep them. If you fight for your limitations, you are going to keep them. It's a quote by Jim Quick. If you fight for your limitations, you get to keep them. If you keep telling yourself that it is not possible for somebody like you to make multiple six figures or seven figures every month from your knowledge, from your skills, from your experience, you will never get there. If you keep looking at people who talk about how they make these kinds of income and you never believe that it's possible, if you think that they are scamming or they are lying or it's untrue, it will never be true for you. It will never be true for you. Whatever you don't believe, you cannot achieve. If you don't believe that all people read books in Nigeria or in Africa, when you write your book, nobody will read it. And that's why you struggle. When you write content, nobody will read it. I write content sometimes that's about 1,000, 1,500 words. And people will still read and comment. And they're some of my best content. All right? And you say people don't read. That's not true. It's a mindset challenge. Maybe you heard it from somewhere and you believed it and it became your reality. And so you don't work. Another reason is that you're, probably, you're, you're not charging your worth because you do not know your worth. You don't know exactly how much you are supposed to be earning. You don't even know how much you want to earn. All right? Because the earning potential for, for people who are working, who are knowledge workers, who are working in the knowledge space, are limitless. There are people who do... $10,000 a month, $100,000 a month, a million dollars a month in this same space that you are. But if you don't know your worth, you will not be able to ask for it. All right? It's like say you, you work in a company and you're being paid $50,000, but you don't know that the position that you apply for is $150,000 that they get paid for. If you do not know, you cannot ask for more. You will be comfortable where you are because you think that's all you're worth. But once you're be able to be exposed, right? Once you're able to be exposed to what's possible, to what is what your skills and your experience and your knowledge is actually worth, you will be able to demand for more. You will become uncomfortable remaining small. Number three, you have not yet built authority and influence in the writing space. So you cannot charge what the experts who are more known would charge. You still feel like, you know, you're, you're invisible. You're not being seen. Nobody really knows who you are. Your name isn't out there yet. And because of that, you're unable to build authority and influence in the writing space. 
hey, let me tell you, there are some people who you are better than right now who are earning way more than you because they've been able to crack the code of building authority and influence. You do this by focusing on know, like, and trust. Get people to know you, like you, trust you. Repeat that cycle over and over again every single day consistently till you build momentum. There are so many things that you could do to build authority and influence. One of the best and the easiest and the fastest ways to do so is by writing a book. One of the fastest ways to do so is by writing a book. If you want to establish yourself in an industry, whether you are in retail, whether you are in um, relationship, whether you're in wealth, whether you're in finance, whether you're in uh, a particular skill, whether you're in tech, whatever it is, the best way, the fastest way to establish yourself as an authority is through writing a book, getting published. And it's even better when you're published internationally and you become a bestseller. These things help you to build authority, influence. They get you seen, they get you known, they get you visible so that you can begin to attract traction for people to eventually start asking you, hey, what are your services and how can we pay for them? All right? Number four, you still have wrong preconceived notions about reading, writing, and knowledge in Nigeria and Africa, so you can't be bothered. There's some of you who are listening to me right now who are joining this webinar who are not necessarily writers or authors, but you're just curious. And you've told yourself that, oh, let me see if probably this workshop will change my mind. I hope it does. Because some of you here are saying, mm, writers, uh, nobody reads what writers write. Nobody cares about you know, reading books. But if you go outside to the traffic stands and you see people who are hawking books, you probably will change your mind. People who sell those books in the roadsides in the traffic, they would not be in that business if there was no money there. People who are writing books day in, day out and getting published day in, day out, they would not be doing so if there was no money there. People who are buying international books, shipping them to Nigeria so they could sell to you and I, they are not doing it because they just like the books. They are doing it because there is money there. They are selling because people are buying to read. All right? We live in an information age where information is key. Information is important. Information is potential power. Knowledge is potential power. And people know that the best place to find knowledge is through reading books. Imagine somebody's 40-year career compressed into one book. You're able to learn the most important highlights of their career and learn from their mistakes and experiences through their books. So once you're able to change your preconceptions about reading, writing, and knowledge in Nigeria and Africa, you will sit up because there is so much untapped resource here. So, so much untapped resource here that have not yet been discovered. I hope everybody's listening and everybody can hear me, okay? I hope everybody can listen and everybody can hear. Please, um, if you can, engage in the, in the comments so that I can, I can know that I'm not talking to myself and this, the volume hasn't gone off, okay? It will be very helpful if once in a while you can just drop something, even if it's an emoji, just to drop something for me to know that everybody is still here and I haven't been cut off or I'm no longer mute or I'm, you know, I'm still talking, okay? Thank you. All right. Number five. Number five, you have no marketing plan, especially for people who are authors. You put out a book or you sell a skill. Maybe you may put out a class or something and you expect that people will just rush to you. You expect that people will just rush to whatever it is. You may, many times you create a product in your head that you think is so amazing, that man, this thing is so good that people will be crazy to not want to jump on it. And then you put it out there and you hear crickets. And then because on the day that you launch it, nothing happens or you barely make a sale, you just shut it down and you go to sleep. You don't try. You don't try your different marketing plans. There are so many marketing plans. I have a book called Seven, um, seven Figure Marketing Strategies where I outline several different types of marketing strategies that you could actually apply when you're doing, out, when you're doing your launch and carrying out a marketing plan to enable you to get the sale. But you just try one thing, it doesn't work, you dump it and you walk away and you tell yourself, oh, maybe the product wasn't good or maybe my target audience are not the, they are not the right target audience or maybe people are too broke or maybe people are not bothered or something or the other. You give up before you've had the chance to even try. Guess what? When you do a launch, the best sales come at the very beginning of the launch 
the day you launch it and at the last day of your launch when your launch is going to end that's when you usually get some of the best sales but if you just quit because on day one and day two nothing happened you will not be able to market enough to get to the end do you know that people require seven to eight touch points before they make a buying decision which means people need to hear you talk about your products at least seven to eight times before they decide that they want to buy most people not everybody who hears you talk about your product is going to buy on day one. It doesn't happen like that. Many times they need to hear over and over again. Maybe they forgot life happened, something got in their way. They didn't have the money at the time. They're trying to raise it. They're trying to do something or the other to make sure that they... But if you don't keep reminding them and showing up every day to tell people about your products and services, they will forget. Right? They will forget. So if you have no marketing plan, and you put out a book or you put out a product and people don't rush to you, you give up and you don't give them a reason to choose you, forget it, you're not going to be able to make any sales. Number six, you don't know how much you want to earn. You don't even know industry standards. You don't know what your peers earn, so you have no benchmark. There are so many of you here right now that if I ask you how much do you want to earn in the next one month, you don't know it off the top of your head. You have to think of the answer first before you answer me. I've asked you now, I'm asking you now, what do you want to earn in the next one? By the end of September, September 30th, how much do you want to have earned for your business? You will start thinking of it now. You don't have a ready answer. That's the problem. Because when you're creating your marketing plan, if you don't know exactly how much you want to be earning every month, it will be hard for you to create a marketing plan that you can implement. You will just be trying any and everything and hoping that something works. It doesn't work that way. Business is about numbers. Selling is about numbers. It's a numbers game. You cannot claim to hate maths and you want to do business. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Right? It doesn't work. So you must have a figure in your head for now. Everybody right now, write a figure right now that you want to earn. Write a figure right now that you want to earn in the next... Uh, 30 to 40 days, all right? If you don't know, go and check and do your, your, uh, uh, your research to find industry standards. Look for people who are offering the same things as you. Find out how much they offer that in the average price and tell yourself, okay, this could be my new benchmark. This is how much I want to strive for. If people in your, in your industry are earning up to a million and you've never earned 50K before, you can say, okay, fine. Let me take the next, let me double what I currently earned end and then start from there i've never made 50k before let me try to see if i can make 50k or 100k and strive towards getting to that when i get to 100k maybe i can now ne get next to 300k then to 500k then 750 then a million and so on and so forth but you must have a number in your head are we clear are we clear you must have a number in your head number seven no systems for continuous sales this is a huge problem that most people in this part of the world have. You have fantastic products, but you don't have a system to ensure that your products are selling while you are asleep. You don't have systems to make sure your products are selling while you are asleep. You create an ebook. The ebook is sitting down in your email or in your files folder. So when somebody wants to buy, you will not send them account number. Then you will not tell them when you have paid then send me, uh, send me a WhatsApp message. When you now send me a WhatsApp message, I will now confirm your payment and check if the alert has come. When I now confirm your payment, I will now send you the book, either via WhatsApp or via, via your email. First of all, that basically means, if that is your only system of receiving payment, that means that you cannot, you cannot get um, um, payments while you are asleep. You cannot earn while you are asleep. All your earnings have to be only when you are awake. You will never know the sweet feeling of waking up in the morning and seeing that you are making money while you are asleep. You will never know that feeling. A simple system like signing up for a free seller account, S-E-L-A-R, seller.co account, and putting your book there, connecting it to your bank account, and having a link is there. But it's not enough to just put your book and have a link for the book. Where is a, do you have a common place like your Instagram bio or your Facebook bio 
where people can actually go when they want to check you out. Go there and see the link to your products and buy. Some of you, your bio is not optimized to show all of the products that you have. You can only show one at a time. You don't implement things like having a link tree or even having your own website. And so because of that, you cannot put out all of your products. And people only get to see one product at a time. What if you have a particular product for a different kind of audience and that particular audience comes to your page, but they don't see what they want from you because you don't have a system that ensures that your products are available on ground every single time. So you don't have a system for continuous sale. If you don't do a launch, your money will not come in. You don't know how to sell without having to do major launches. You don't know how to sell without having to do major launches. You don't understand how to use the power of content marketing to make money. You don't know how to create a Facebook post or a blog post or an Instagram post with a call to action that will eventually lead people to want to buy. You are ashamed to sell. That's another thing that I need to put there. You are ashamed to sell the products that you have. And I will explain why this is a big issue and how you can overcome this issue. Because you keep looking at what you have as a product and not an offer, you are ashamed to sell your products. Too many people are on this table that I'm, sharing, that I'm talking about right now, and you know yourselves. You are ashamed to sell. You don't want to be salesy. You don't want to look like you're all in people's faces every time. Don't you like to make money every day? How would you make money every day if you are not selling every day? It won't work. You have to be selling every day, whether you are selling directly using organic uh, traffic, organic content, or you are selling every day by creating Facebook ads that are running concurrent, running continuously every day. You must be selling every single day. You must be having sales conversations in your DMs or your emails. You must be putting out content with a call to action and make people want to ask questions like, do you have a product for this? Do you have a service for this? Do you have an online course for this? You must create a system to ensure that people are asking you questions about offers that you have. But if you do not have systems, if you have no plans for multiple streams of income as well, you will be leaving so much money on the table. That's number eight. No systems, no plans for multiple streams of income. You have just books. Because you are too shy, you don't know how to do videos, you don't, you don't want to start talking. You don't and how to train and how to give effective presentations and so because you have no skill you're leaving a lot of money on the table some of you you tried it you tried you, you you are an author you now tried going into teaching classes but because you are lacking in presentation skills nobody wants to listen to your webinars nobody wants to buy your courses have you ever wondered why is it that nobody shows up for my webinars it's because you are lacking presentation skills you refuse to have is the uh, learn these right skills to be able to present what i'm doing right now is not something that i was naturally born with i had to learn the art of effective presentation in order to be able to talk for two hours straight three hours four hours 30 minutes straight and deliver value what i do when i show up live on open at dawn and i'm able to talk for two hours and captivate you and hold your attention for those two hours straight is not magic it's not something that I'm exactly naturally gifted at. I am good at teaching, but being good at teaching and being good at presenting are two different things. You may be able to impact knowledge, but your ability to present is what will help your knowledge to be actually impactful. All right? So you are an author. You want to now start teaching classes or creating online courses. Go and learn the art of presentation. There are YouTube videos online that are absolutely free where you can learn how to do so. You don't know how to create slides. You don't know how to be able to talk on over your slides. It's very hard to do for you because it's hard for you to follow one or the other. Go and learn it. Practice it over and over and over again till you can't get it wrong. All right? Number nine, you have no offer or offers. You are still selling products when you should be selling offers. Don't worry, I will explain this. I don't want to spend too much time here because I have an entire slide dedicated to that. In fact, two slides or three. Number 10, you're trying to be like other people in the pro and in the process, you've lost your unique selling points. That thing that makes you, you. You want to talk like Idiri. You want to talk like John Obidi. You want to talk like Olakon Shorion. You want to talk like X, Y, and Z. 
but you don't know that you are you and nobody can talk like you and it is only the way that you talk or the way that you teach or the way that you create or the way that you connect that will help you to be able to build the right audience for yourself you have to understand what makes you you and it is that unique thing that will attract your true your true tribe to you it is that unique thing about you that will attract your true tribe to you all right so don't try to be like other people find out who you really are are you the kind of person that likes to gesticulate when you talk are you the kind of person that likes to that you are more effective when you're talking with sides or you're more effective when you're talking with your face on the live screen on the presentation who are you? Are you the kind of person that your voice is naturally calm? Like me, I'm a naturally, I have a naturally calm voice. I'm a very soft-spoken person. But it doesn't mean that I don't speak with power and authority and influence. I speak naturally soft and I will not try to increase the, the, the um, what do you call it now? The, the pitch of my voice just to sound like somebody else. This is who I am, and this is why people listen to me, because they know that this is Adirin at her truest self, all right? So stop trying to be like other people in the, uh, uh, and then losing yourself in the process. Now, let me talk about some ways in which you can repurpose your content. A lot of people say, oh, I, I, write, I, I write a lot. I write um, content on social media a lot, or I have a book. How do I repurpose that content to create multiple streams of income? Now, it is your different types of products that will create multiple streams of income for you. It is your offers that will allow you to be able to create these different types of products from one type of content, All right? So here I have given a list of ways in which you can repurpose your content. So I am teaching a workshop now on scalable multiple streams of income for writers and authors this workshop can easily become an ebook on its own when i am done with this workshop my assistant could transcribe it for me and then i would turn this into an actual book i could use the book as a book that i would sell i could sell it on a platform like seller i could sell it on a platform like um, amazon i could sell it on my website wherever all right I could also take the audio of this training and that audio becomes a podcast episode or it becomes an audio book. That one, this one content I'm currently creating right now, I have already created an ebook, I have created an audio book, I've created a podcast from it. Right? You could then also go on and create workbooks. So if I want to help people to actually get action points, I will just simply take what are the action points I'm talking about right now? How, how can I create a workbook that will help people to take action on those action points? So for example, I've written out these 10, 10 reasons why you're not making the sale. I can say that, okay, a workbook, for a workbook for this workshop, I can say, okay, in this particular part, I want everybody to grade themselves on a scale of one to 10. Which of these ones do you, with 10 being you are terrible at this thing, with one with, with one being you are terrible at this thing, and 10 being I'm absolutely great, it's not a problem for me. And I could turn this into a workbook where somebody would say, well, I have a mindset challenge on a scale of 1 to 10. How does this apply to me? I have a mindset challenge that hasn't yet matched my goal. Okay, and on a scale of 1 to 10, 5. I'm not charging my words because I don't know my words. I'll give myself a 2. I've not yet built authority I have some level of authority. I'll give myself a seven. Um, I still have the wrong preconceived notions. Not true. I absolutely believe I'll give myself a 10. I have no marketing plan. I expect to put out a book and people will just rush for you. I'll give myself a four. Mm, and I so on and so forth. All right? So this way, I'm able to help people to see where they have problems with their sales just by turning what I'm talking about right now in my slide to a workbook. What did I do? Just simply just adding a simple grading system to some slides. That's all. Then in this place where I say ways in which you can repurpose your content, I have three ways in, in the third one is in the next slide. So on this first part, I have digital and print products. I can say, which of these ones do I know how to do? I can do another grading system or I can do a yes or no system. Do I have the skills for doing eBooks? Yes, no. Do I have skills for doing print books? Yes, no. Do I have skills for doing audio books? Yes, no. Right? 
Um, how about workbooks? Do I have the skills to create a workbook? Yes, no. Blueprint or guide? Yes, no. Planner? Yes, no. I could do that as a workbook, right? I could do that as a workbook, in the workbook, okay? I could do that. I could, do, I could decide and say, okay, out of these um, digital products, pick three, which are the first three ones I'm going to do. I will give, put this out here, list it out, and then tell them to write out their top three. Then for done, done with you services, I say, okay, pick three as well. What have I done? I've simply just taken this simple free workshop and turned it into a book. I'm also turning it into a workbook as well. I'm also creating an audio book where um, I will give this entire video to an audio engineer to extract the audio from this book, edit it, or from this workshop, edit it, and it becomes an audio or it becomes um, a podcast episode, depending on what I want. All right? Okay. How about planners? I could take this same uh, um, um, class and I could say, okay, I want to help people to actually go step by step to implement everything I'm sharing today. So I'm going to turn it into a planner. How do you plan your scalable multiple streams of income? Same thing. I could also decide that, you know what, the ebook I'm creating from this, since it's a free workshop, I want to create a free ebook as well. And I have done this by myself before. I have done this. I used it to build my email list and I got over a thousand people to join my email list using a, a transcribed myth, a transcribed ebook I created from a free YouTube video that I did some months ago. And I used that same content. I did not have to create a brand new set of content for, for lead magnet. I used that same one. So you could repurpose your content into so many things. The, one of the best kinds of content that you're creating, one of the best kinds of content that you could create is from books. If you already have a book, you have the blueprint to create every single kind of content here. You can create um, other, um, you can turn your ebook into a print book. You can turn it into an audio book. There is somebody here, I don't know if she's on this live now, um, Ejiro Sakede, who, um, she, she's the founder of Missy Fun, uh, Fun Books, and she actually does, um, she does audiobook productions. She's done two audiobook productions for me. She's worked with high caliber people. She's fantastic. All right. So I can take my book and turn it into a workbook. I can turn it into an audiobook. I can turn it into a planner. So, for example, I have a book called The ACG of Ebook Publishing. I can turn it into a book planner. I can have the, I have the print version. I'm going to create an audiobook version. I could decide that I want to transcribe the audiobook into different languages or transcribe that particular book into a different language so that I can actually reach a different audience. Say I want to reach Francophone Africa, for example. I can decide to take that A to Z in publishing, transcribe it into French. What have I done? I've created another stream of income for me to earn from other countries in Africa where they don't even speak English, right? You can also create video courses, mini courses, which are shorter, shorter uh, video courses. You can do email courses. So even if you don't have the ability to create videos and then store them, you can do email courses where you basically write out the content and you send it via email to those who will sign up for it. And people pay for email courses. People pay as much as $97 to $297 for email courses. You can say, okay, the email course is going to start a period of five days. And for the five days, every single day, I'm going to send you content related to this particular topic. You said audio, audio, there's also audio courses and audio programs. Masterclass replays. Many of you, you teach a class. This is why I usually don't encourage people to teach classes on WhatsApp and Telegram. It can be very, very hard for you to repurpose content like that. But imagine that you're doing your own masterclass on a Zoom call, on Zoom, or even on a private YouTube. Let's say you're doing it on Zoom. With Zoom, you're able to record. You're able to record on Zoom. Once you have recorded, you save the recording of that class. And that class can earn you money over and over and over and over again and can even be and can even be a lead magnet. You can use that class as a training later on to invite people to actually sign up for something else. All right? So you could have masterclass replays. Once you have a bunch of masterclass replays, you can then bundle them into what we call bundles. 
many times when I'm having a lot of course classes and stuff like that that I've, I, I want to get rid of, instead of me just shutting them down, I will bundle them into a particular bundle and then put it out for my community at a very, very affordable price for them. You can also create templates as well. So for example, from Institute of Ebook Publishing, I created a book template. So those are digital and print products that you can actually repurpose from one to the other. You can do it the other way around. You can create books from your video courses. You can create books from your email courses. You can create books from your live videos. My book, You and Your Mindset, was a comp it was a compilation of about eight live videos on mindset that I had taught in the past. I did not write a single new thing for that book. I just took the live videos and transcribed what I had said in those videos into a book. And it became my very first number one Amazon bestseller ever. All my, I had other books that, I, that were Amazon bestsellers before, but that particular book that I did not even spend a second to write any new content on became a number one bestseller. It's not about, some of you, you sell your content too cheap. I saw somebody mention commercializing content, and I understand the struggle. But if you don't know the value of what you have and how you can repurpose it, you will think that every live video that you do is trash. Those of you who do live videos, I don't know why you don't save those videos and put them on your YouTube. You can repurpose your videos on your Facebook onto another platform. If you have a live video that is shorter than 60 minutes, you can take that video on Facebook and put it on your Instagram. If you do an Instagram live, you can save it to your IGTV. You can put it up on your Facebook. You can put it up on your YouTube. You're thinking about building your YouTube channel. You don't have to be creating content across all the social media platforms. You can be repurposing one content for another and increasing your views. That's for digital and print products. Then there's done with you services where you are directly involved with the people. Usually it's live. So things like master classes, where you're creating the master class with the people. All right? Things like challenges. So you can have like a seven day challenge. You can have like a sales challenge, a marketing challenge, a write your book challenge. You can have a create, a, become a Canva expert challenge. You can have a, you know, all kinds of challenge. You can have a health challenge, a fitness challenge, a weight loss challenge, a um, no, no soft dreams for 30 days challenge where people would pay a tiny amount just so that they can be accountable. All right. So imagine you wrote a book on how to um, lose weight with with a vegetarian diet, for example. You can have a 30 day vegetarian um, diet challenge outside of the book. So from that book, you can basically just get people that, hey, if you buy this book, you get to join the challenge for free. That way you're actually using the challenge to sell the book. You can say, hey, um, I'm launching this new book on how to um, how to live a more vegetarian lifestyle, how to transition to a vegetarian lifestyle so you can be healthy. You talk about the benefits of becoming vegetarian. And then you say, okay, I know it can be very hard for you to transition into becoming a vegetarian. But this book I have shows you different recipes that you can cook every day without the use of meat. And hey, if you want to, I can help you get a head start on your first 30 days by joining my accountability program. And all you need to join that program is just get the book. Once you get the book, I will instantly send you the link to my Telegram channel. So you can join the Telegram group and then we can all together take one recipe and try it every single day. One recipe every single day for 30 days. That's what you do. So you repurpose content. And I'm going to talk about how what we have done right now is uh, what I have done right now is a simple offer that I just talked about. So you can do challenges, you can do accountability programs, group coaching programs. You can do have an ebook and you can repurpose that e content from that ebook and create a group coaching program. How do you do that? simply by offering accountability or help or coaching services to people who actually buy your book within a period of time. And you can sell the group coaching program as an upsell to people who buy the book so that they can be able to implement with you by their side. There's masterminds. Masterminds are shorter periods of memberships. So memberships are usually continuous, usually for a year and above. Masterminds can be short and they usually come to an end. So they can be a 30-day mastermind, 60-day mastermind, 90-day mastermind, so on and so forth. They come to an end. 
all right, where your goal is to help them to achieve a particular result. I'll give you a very good example of how I was able to repurpose content. I had a book that I wanted to write called um, Zero to Influence back in 2019, all right? So it was called Zero to Influence back in 2019, but I wanted to test to see if my audience would be receptive enough to me talking about influence. I've been talking about ebook publishing, online publishing, and all of those things for two years. And I wanted to see how my audience would take to it. So what I did, I started with a class, a live workshop. I had just come back from my a, a trip I had in East Africa, in Kenya and Tanzania. And I did a class on influence. I called it Influence to Profits Masterclass to test my idea. And people paid. The class was 50,000 naira. People paid. And they came. I had about 13 people or so in the class. They came. They paid. I said, okay, great. So the idea seems to be working. People are excited about the idea of influence. Now, let me write a book because that was the original plan. So I wrote the book called Zero to Influence. I did a launch, a proper physical launch about the book. So when I launched the book, it received a lot of um, a lot of uh, praises. It was a physical book. It was printed in Nigeria. So I sold the physical copies. I also had copies put in bookshops as well. Then I made digital copies of the book, ebook versions. I put that book also on a platform called Amazon and a lot of other platforms as well. Then the knowledge from that book, after I had launched the book and sold it for about a couple of months, in the next year, 2020, I created a mastermind called School of Influence. How many of you remember School of Influence? School of Influence was born from the content of that book. I did not teach anything in School of Influence that was not contained in the book. School of Influence was a three months mastermind. I ran it four times and it was one of my highest selling um, um, products and offers of all times. All right. So I created a book. I had a, 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 a workshop, a live workshop, which was recorded. I had a recording of it, then I had a book, then I had the book in ebook, then I had a, the mastermind in it as well, it's a, a School of Influence Mastermind. When I was done with the School of Influence Mastermind, all of the content on the School of Influence Mastermind, I converted and repurposed it into an online course and relaunched it again this year. So you see, I was not selling School of Influence multiple times. Neither was I selling course multiple times. What I did was I, take, I took an offer and repurposed it multiple ways and created different tools in which to help people achieve results on different levels, All right? So there are multiple ways in which you can actually repurpose your content. Do not sleep on content repurposing. Do not sleep on content repurposing. You cannot just write one book Put all of your energy into creating, you know, researching, writing, and creating that book, then just dropping it and then going to look for another thing to talk about again in another book or another class. You will wear yourself thin. You will wear yourself thin. Instead, start looking on how you can take the content from one of your products and repurpose it using the idea of offers. Okay. I'll quickly talk about other ways you can repurpose your content that may not necessarily make you money immediately, but if you can grow them, they would actually help you in the long run, like YouTube video tutorials and uploads. So if you're here and you want to be able to monetize YouTube, note that you must have 1,000 um, subscribers. You must have 1,000 subscribers and you must have 4,000 watch hours, which means your videos must have been watched a total of at least 4,000 hours before you can actually start monetizing on your youtube in order for you to have 1000 subscribers you need to be able to have amazing content that you can drive traffic to on the youtube channel beyond that you must also have content that people can watch over and over and over again longer forms of content are much better because people can actually stay out if your content is really good they can watch up on to the end all right I didn't know this before. I was only creating very, very short content videos until I learned that secret and started creating longer forms of videos. And guess what? You don't have to even start creating brand new, fresh, brand new videos 
for YouTube alone. One of my videos on YouTube that I created that was about eight minutes long or so, it was a video that I created just to teach one of my coaching clients then, back then, I think it was 2019, I, was, I wanted to teach her how she can actually share her screen using her laptop while going live on Facebook. So while I did that, while I did that, people who are saying the slides are blurry, it's your phone's resolution, okay? You can change your, your phone to landscape mode if you want to be able to see it better. Or your phone's resolution is low and it could be a result of your, your network. If your network is not very good, when I'm changing slides, it's going to look blurry. It's kind of like watching a movie with bad network, okay? So the slides are, I'm also watching my slides from my own phone as well and it looks perfectly fine to me. So if you have issues with your slides, um, Either you switch to landscape mode or ensure that your network is very good, okay? All right. So as I was saying, all right, you could upload your lives on Facebook. If you feel like you don't have the energy to even start recording videos, special videos, your videos don't have to be special edit. You don't have to do all those editing. All those. I have never edited a YouTube video for, for YouTube ever. I have never had to. I don't have the skill for that, all right? I don't have the skill for that, so I don't even bother at all. But I know that the content in, in, on its own, it's amazing. The content on its own is amazing, all right? And so people will watch it because I've tested the same content on my Facebook. So usually what I do is I'll probably teach a class on Facebook, download the video from Facebook and upload it onto YouTube. And that way I have repurposed content in, from Facebook or from wherever I, I had the content before and I, I put it on my on my YouTube and that way I'm able to get views. So what I usually would do is I will create content on my Facebook. Maybe I'll write a simple blog post and then write that, hey guys, watch this particular video I have done on YouTube for more explanation. And that way I'm able to drive traffic from my Facebook group onto my YouTube channel. Same thing with podcasts as well. You can also repurpose your content for podcasts. If you did a master, a free master class using Zoom, when you record it, Zoom saves both the video and the audio of your master class. So you can actually save the audio and upload it onto your podcast channel. Whether you're using Anchor or using SoundCloud or any other platform, you can upload audios onto your podcast. Now, platforms like YouTube and podcasts, you can also monetize. By the time you're growing your large following, you can monetize by getting people to pay you for, for promotions, all right? You can get people to pay you for promotions. You can actually get YouTube um, um, podcasts, YouTube ads when you get qualified, or you can actually get for um, podcasts like Anchor FM where you can actually get paid as well for, for um, advertisement. Apart from that, you can also get um, people to pay you to talk about their products and their services, all right? People can actually pay you to talk about their products and their services. Beyond that, you can actually even start doing affiliate marketing. So for example, let's say um, a Zoom, for example, has affiliate marketing programs, and I want to get people to sign up for Zoom. When they talk about how people can actually you know, create online courses using Zoom, and I upload that video tutorial onto YouTube, at the bottom in the description, I can write that, hey guys, um, this video was created using Zoom. If you would like to sign up for Zoom, here's a link. It's an affiliate, here's my affiliate link to sign up for Zoom. And the more people I push to actually go and view that video, the more people who will eventually get to sign up for my affiliate link. If I'm teaching a class on email marketing, for example, and I use ConvertKit, ConvertKit has an affiliate program. In the description, I write, if you want to sign up for ConvertKit, click this link here, it's an affiliate link. When they click it, I get paid or I get free 1,000 extra subscribers, depending on how it works, all right? Or is it Canva? If I use Canva to design something and I talk to, do a tutorial about it, guys, you want to be able to expand on your skills and be able to monetize. Look for tools that you use in your business and sign up for the affiliate programs for those tools. Do tutorial videos on how to use those tools. And then in the description of your videos, put the link for your, to, to, for your um, affiliate link there where people can actually sign up. That's a great way to make so much money and you're leaving a lot of money on the table. 
somebody is asking how do you download um, your facebook live and upload on youtube i don't know about for phones but for laptops it's pretty straightforward you don't need any extra applications just click on the video once it starts playing click download it will download immediately for you and then you can upload it all you need to do again when you go to youtube have your youtube channel set up when you go to youtube you will see a place where it says upload or create once you click on that it will tell you to upload a file you upload it simply put a title put a cover if you want and put a description it is easy it's as easy as creating a facebook post it is very very easy if you don't know how always go to youtube there are video tutorials on youtube that will show you how to do so you want to learn how to download a video from facebook how to download your own video from facebook go to youtube if you want to learn how to download um, a, a videos from instagram go to youtube you want to learn how to upload youtube a video to youtube go to youtube there are a lot of answers on youtube right you can also repurpose your social media live streams and webinars to podcasts to youtube videos to courses to bundles to books to lead magnets all right you can also repurpose your blog post there's somebody i know the particular blogger i cannot remember his name right now he makes a blog post every single day 365 days a year at the end of the year he compiles all of his blog posts into a book and people still buy the same people that read his blog post every day still end up buying the book all right so you can repurpose your blog posts and put them on your website all right you can you put them on reddit you can put them on tumblr if you want to grow your audience you can also create newsletters there are specific platforms for newsletters if you don't have an email you, there is substack there is medium there is tumblr all right these are platforms where you can actually create your own free newsletters and get people to actually subscribe substack right now is an amazing one i've been testing substack and i didn't even promote it at all but i'm seeing people are subscribing to my own substack and guess what with substack you can actually start creating paid subscriptions so you write amazingly well you write fantastically well it gives it garners a lot of views a lot of comments on facebook don't waste your content on facebook go on substack you will get a username substack.yourname.com or source or something like that and then start promoting or pushing the content onto Substack and getting people to actually sign up. One of the best ways to get people to sign up is to go be on Twitter. Many people sign up for stops, other people's Substacks on Twitter. This is something I, I bet you did not know before. There are so many people who I follow their Substacks, I follow their newsletters on Substack and I found them on Twitter. I haven't found anybody else outside of Twitter that I want to follow. So you can take your blog post and then break it into tweets. You can have a Twitter thread and then tell people that, hey, for more tweets like this or for more amazing content like this, subscribe to my Substack. It's as easy as that. And then they subscribe and then you're building a large following because it's still brand new and people are still rushing there. It's easy for you to build a following very fast and you can actually build organic following. Once you build your following, you can then decide to monetize by actually getting people to pay for subscriptions. There are also white writers' websites where you can actually get paid for your writing. Places like WordPad, Medium, Sweek, Penana, so on and so forth. These are ways by which you can actually repurpose your content and make money in the long run, all right? So please don't sleep on that. Don't sleep on that. Are we, is it making sense to everybody, all right? Is it making sense to everybody? Now, I want to talk about the best place to start with when you're building multiple streams of income, whether as a writer or as an author. The best place to start with, I will always, always, always be biased towards books because that's what worked for me. I was a nobody. Nobody knew who I was four years ago. Nobody knew who a Edirin Edewa was. I was just some random girl that was inside other people's Facebook groups making posts having one or two likes but i was consistent and i started having 10 likes 20 likes 50 likes then everything changed when i wrote a book when i wrote the ages of evil publishing people started taking me seriously when i found out that it was published on amazon and in that book i was teaching people how to do so they took me even more seriously they started to pay attention to what i was writing simply because i had a book now 
it was the best place to start will always be books, preferably ebooks. Why ebooks? Because you don't have the excuse of saying that I don't have money to publish. That's why I wrote it there, preferably ebooks. You don't have the excuse of saying I don't have money to publish the book. No publisher wants to work with me. You can publish your ebook by yourself. In this YouTube YouTube channel, I have a video where I teach you how to write and publish your book in 24 hours. You can go and watch it after you're done with this. Ebooks are easy to launch and easy to sell to dip your toes into digital products. They are one of the easiest digital products to create, one of the easiest. So the advantage is that it gives you a lot of content to repurpose. So you can take snippets of your ebooks, turn them into picture quotes, and actually put call to action at the end of your post for people to actually get more information by buying your book. All right? You can decide that you want to read an excerpt of your book and use a, an app called Headliner, H-E-D-A-H-E-A-D-L-I-N-E-R, Headliner app, to turn it into like video. You know those um, um, podcast-looking video things you see on, on Instagram that everybody is doing that looks like, you know, it shows all those um, um, things. When somebody is talking, you can actually see the inflections, like, like all those um, old radio tapes. When, when you're talking about all those bars on the microphone um, monitor, whatever it's called, right? You can actually read excerpts of your book and put it on, online and say, hey guys, you want to get more of this? Go and buy the book from here, all right? So eBooks are a great way to launch digital products and dip your toes into the art of selling. I you know the best thing about it, even if you don't make that great amount of sale, you don't have actual physical books lying around in your house that you'll be feeling bad that you did not sell. Digital products are products that you could sell endlessly. You can sell unlimited amounts of them because they are digital. There are no physical copies of it. So you're basically selling files, all right? So the best place to start will always be eBooks. The next best place to start is online classes, like workshops like I'm doing currently, this is a workshop I'm doing right now. This is a product I am literally in the process of creating. Right? Is the process I'm in the process of creating this workshop. That is why it is the next best place to start. And sometimes I actually prefer to even teach classes than books because books will require me sitting down having to write and everything. But for me, for for online classes, I can just talk and the content is being created as I am talking. All I need to do is create my slides and then talk over my slides. I have my notes right here with me, so be able to remember things I want to say for every single one of these slides, all right? So the big advantage of, of creating online classes for building multiple streams of income is that you can even launch the class before creating the product. And I'm going to show you a live example very soon, all right? I'm going to show you a live example very, very soon, okay? So the a fantastic thing about online classes is you can launch them before creating them, paid classes, so, because it's created as you go. So imagine a masterclass that you are promoting and you're telling people that, hey, I have this class where I'm going to teach this particular thing. And the class is going to take place in another two weeks time, but payments and registration for the class start now. Guess what? People, are, people who are paying are not paying because they already know what the content of the class is going to be. They are paying based on the promise that you have told them, that you have delivered to them. So at that point in time, when people are paying for your class that you have not yet even created, they are paying for your promise. And that's usually one of the best kinds of products to sell. That's one of the best kinds of products to sell because they are literally going to be with you as you are creating the product, as you are with me right now. Because what I'm doing right now is a product I'm creating. All right? Guaranteed is free because you're actually here sitting down listening to me and it's actually absolutely free. But you're here, you were here today based on the promise of the fact that you're going to learn something. All right? So whenever you create master classes, whether you're creating free workshops or, or paid workshops or trainings or whatsoever, always make sure 
that you are converting these physical classes into digital products. Make sure that it is being recorded as you are creating it. That's why I usually struggle with all these WhatsApp teachings and Telegram teachings because most times, if you want to teach that same topic again, you have to do this the work over and over again. I will never have to talk about scalable multiple streams of income again like this. Why? Because right now, this is being recorded. And so if I ever want people to learn about scalable multiple streams of income again, I don't have to teach another live class. I will just send people to the replay of this class. Now, imagine if this was a paid class and I'm charging people to come and learn how to create scalable multiple streams of income. And I want to be able to sell this same class again. I don't have to do the work again to be able to teach the exact same thing again. All I will do the next time is that I will simply sell the access to the replay of this class. That way I've been able to create a product live with the very first set of buyers. This very first set of buyers will now become my testimonials for the next set and the next and the next and the next that will sell. So when I'm now selling that class, after the first one, I am no longer selling a promise. I have delivered on the promise. I am now selling with the testimonial of people who have gone through the class before. So I am now selling a delivered promise. I have delivered on my promise and I am now telling the next set of people, hey, I have delivered on this promise before. You are now getting access to the delivery of that promise that I gave the first time. Is it making sense to you? Is it making sense to you? So online classes, when you're creating, when you're selling for the first time, you're selling a promise. When you are selling that promise, make sure that you are delivering on that promise and you're doing a very good job at it. Also ensure that you are saving that class so that you never have to teach it again. That's how you make multiple streams of income that can make money for you while you sleep. So imagine that you now have some sort of mini training or mini video where you explain one or two of those reasons why people are not imagine that i now have a video hmm, where i talk about five reasons why you're not making sale in your business right and it's free i put that video on youtube or i put that video somewhere where people can have access to it for free and in that video i now tell you that hey um this, these are the reasons why you're not making sales. You have a mindset challenge, you have no marketing plan, and you're selling these, you're selling, um, you, you don't have any offer or offers. Would you like to learn how to create scalable multiple streams of income for your business as a writer and author? Yes, if the answer is yes, then click on this link to get an access to a replay of a class where I taught 81 people how to do exactly the same thing. 81 people cannot be wrong. They showed up live when I taught this class. And I want to give it to you. I want to give you access to this class as well. Here is it. I hope you are following me. I want to give you access to this class as well. Click here now to make payment and you will get access to the class immediately so that you can start implementing on your multiple streams of income so you can live the life that you want. Get it now. Have you seen what I have just done? What I have done is I've created this class live with you. I've created this class live with you. I have recorded the class. I have saved it to my vault. I have saved it to wherever it is I save my videos to. I created a payment link for it so that people can now have access to the replay, not to download it. They have access to the replay. All right. So remember, when you are selling videos, and usually I tell people when you're selling videos, online courses, classes, training, so on and so forth, don't give your videos for free. Don't just go and give people your video to download. You're not selling your videos. You're selling the access to your videos. There is a difference between selling your videos and selling access to your videos. It's like going to Too Faced now and you want to buy a Too Faced CD and you want to buy the master. You cannot buy the master. We are all buying recordings of the master. We are buying duplicates of the master. You cannot buy the master of it. You don't have that kind of money to buy the master of the song, right? So you're selling access to your replay. Is somebody catching the rumor now? 
many of many times when I say you don't have marketing plan, many times it's because you have not explored offers. You have also not explored repurposing your content. You too many of you have created classes upon classes and you've thrown them away because you forgot to record, store, and keep. Don't do that again. Please, always have recordings of everything that you do. Please, okay? So, I just gave you an example now. I finish this scalable multiple streams of income. I go back and I do another five minutes recording, five, 10 minutes recording. And I say, hey, hey guys, um, I want to talk to you about three mistakes that you may be making that's causing you not to have sales. Number one, um, you're not, you don't have the right mindset. Number two, you're not good your marketing plan. Number three, you're selling products instead of offers. Would you like to know the rest ones also? These are just three of 10 reasons why you may not be making sales. All right. Um, I have a training where I teach um, 10 of these reasons and I also teach you the different ways in which you can repurpose your content so that you can continue to make sales while you sleep. I also share with you the best way to start with building multiple streams of income and talk about my idea of scaling and creating offers. Would you like to have the knowledge of how to be able to do that so you can finally learn how to make money in your sleep? Then get the replay right now to Scalable Multiple Streams of Income for Writers and Authors. It's available instantly. You don't need to wait for it. The way in which I marketed the live one when I was marketing my promise is different from the way I will market this the replay because I'm no longer marketing a promise. I'm marketing the fulfillment of that promise. All right? I'm marketing the fulfillment of that promise. So I'm telling you now, in that free video, jump in and get this right, right now. In fact, you are listening to this video right now where the replay is actually available at a discount. This video normally is about $100,000, right? But for today only, I'm only giving it to you for $5, $5 only or $10 only or $20, $27 only. Get access now so you don't miss your chance. This offer is going to expire in another 24, 24 hours if you don't take advantage of it. And guess what? People are excited. They will take advantage. You will answer them. 86 people were there in the class live when I first taught the people. X amount of students were there. And this is the testimonial that one of them said. Somebody said, um, well, let me go look for maybe. I've been taking screenshots of, of your chats and your comments. All right. Somebody said that the class was hot. It made sense. I would take screenshots. If I want to put video and um, um, picture confirmation, I will put picture confirmations or screenshots that what people are saying that this class is making sense. It's on fire. Smart moves. Let me take another screenshot again where it says smart moves. Right? Very hot one. Okay? I'm going to say these people were dead away. Where I taught the class live, but you can have access to the replay right now so you don't miss anything. And then people are jumping on it. Sometimes, again, you don't know what you have. You're busy selling products when you should be selling offers. The way in which you create your marketing message will determine whether people will buy or not. Okay? So, now, what is the secret of offers? Once you understand the difference between products and offers, you will change how you make money. Sometimes you're not able to sell stuff because you're selling the products and not the offer. So what's the difference between offers and products? Offers are simply the solutions you offer people, the problems that you solve. Products are the tools in which you solve problems. Know this and know peace. Know this and know peace. Offers are the solutions you offer people, the problems that you solve. Products are simply the tools with which you solve this problem. Guess what? What I'm saying right now is not new to you. It's not Greek to you, but you probably haven't heard it in this context before. I don't think there's anything I'm teaching that you've never heard before. It's just that you haven't heard it in this context and you probably haven't heard it at this time. You are not selling ebooks. You are not selling classes. You are not selling courses. You are selling offers. This alone should deliver you from the spirit of, I don't want to say, I don't want to be salesy, I'm shy, I'm embarrassed to be selling every day. The, the reason why you are embarrassed to be selling every day is because you are pushing products and you're not pushing offers. You're pushing products and you're not pushing offers. 
You are selling ebook. You are not selling solutions. You are selling classes and courses. You are not selling offers. That is why you are shy. Me, I can never be shy. When I know that there are people who are suffering and who need help, and I am positioned to help them with my offer, why should I be embarrassed to sell to them? Because I'm doing them a favor. People will never be able to pay you enough for your offer. You are the one that puts the price just so that you can help people get access to these things. Because what you have is a solution. Imagine that you are in the desert and you have a bottle of water. And somebody who has never has not drank water for two days stumbles upon you. And you have this bottle of water. And the person knows that without this water, they will die. And you have this water. And you know that you have the ability to, to sell this water to this person that is to save their life. Will you sell it or not? You will sell it. Imagine if you are in the position of that person. You are the one in the desert. You now finally get to a small, tiny kiosk in the desert where they are selling water. If they told you that this bottle of water is 10,000 naira, you would buy it. Because at that particular time, 10,000 naira is nothing compared to your life, compared to the water that you need to drink. All right? And I'm taking a sip of water right now. <laughs> So, when you start treating your offers as bottles of water in the desert, your mindset will change. So, you need to ask yourself, what are my offers? What are my offers? How do I find my offers? You find them in your messaging. If your messaging is not clear, your offers will not be clear. You will not be able to communicate your offers. If you don't know the kind of questions that people are asking you and the problems that they have, that they have you will not be able to find your offers. So many people are too focused on creating products, you forget about the problems themselves. I want to do book, I want to do course, I want to teach class, I want to launch a product. But you're forgetting about the people who you are trying to sell to that they have problems. And it's their problems that you should take, take, take knowledge of immediately before you start even thinking about product. And people go about it the wrong way. They are, I want to write a book, what should I write about? I want to do course. What should I do the course about? And you're thinking about that the, own, the wrong way, the wrong way around. And that is why you're not selling. Because you're coming from product to solution. You should be going from solution to product. And when you go from solution to product, you realize that the product is never the problem. Because you can have multiple different kinds of products for the same offer. The product is not the problem. The problem is that you don't know your offers. Right? So let me give you an example. So let's say we solve the problem of helping people scale their business profitably using Facebook ads. You are a Facebook ads expert, all right? And people have, people people struggle with um, using ads correctly to scale their business. Your offer is not Facebook ads course. Your offer is not a book on Facebook ads. Your offer is not a class on Facebook ads. I, I gave a, a three examples of what offers could be. Facebook ads for beginners. Now, if your brain is already seeing that, ah, this is a title for, of a book, this is where you're getting it wrong. If your brain is seeing, ah, Facebook mastery for online business owner, ah, that's a, a title of, online, of, a, of a course, you are seeing it wrong and you have already put big, huge stone in, your, in, your, in the destiny of, this, of your products and your business. If you're looking at these titles and you're seeing products, you're getting it wrong. And I will show you in the next slide. So an offer could be Facebook ads for beginners or Facebook mastery for online business owners. What am I doing? These titles are solving problems. Facebook ads for beginners. What's the problem? The problem is beginners that don't know how to run Facebook ads. So the solution is helping people, helping, helping beginners understand Facebook ads and how to run them. Am I making sense to you? Follow me closely. Another one is Facebook mastery for online business owners. So you're now even niching down to focusing on only online business owners. So I just put three different um, examples here. So you to understand that, okay, maybe I'm, I'm not even focusing on Facebook ads for everybody. I only want to help people who are beginners 
or I only want to help people who are online business owners, or I want to help people who want to scale their business to seven figures. So that's why I put there the seven figure business blueprint. As you can see, I have not mentioned any product. I did not say the Facebook ads for beginners is a book or course or anything. No, I haven't mentioned a product. Facebook ads for beginners, for example, is the offer. However, it will be delivered via any product type of my choosing. As I said, a this should have actually be any. I said, in fact, I could have multiple products with the same offering. So you limit yourself when you think of an idea and immediately you're thinking about how to turn that idea into one product instead of thinking about the offer. That's where you make the mistake. That's the secret to sales. That's the secret to, sell, to selling. If you're a writer, you're an author. That's the secret to creating multiple streams of income. When you stop thinking about products and instead think about offers. All right? This is how you scale. This is how you go from creating one book from one idea you had to creating a whole slew of different types of products in an offer. In an offer. This is how you scale. Now, the example isn't finished. So, now, let's say we've picked one of the offers. The next question you want to ask yourself is, what tools or what products will help me make this off, take this offer and turn it into a seven-figure offer? So we decide I want to go with Facebook ads for beginners, right? That was the first one. What kinds of products or tools can help the beginner with Facebook ads? This time, what you're now doing is that you are now basically breaking down the idea of Facebook ads for beginners. You're breaking down the idea. What could I do? What could I offer them? What kind of problems do people who are beginners struggle from with Facebook ads? So they don't know the type of ads to run. I could create something for that. They need to have like a general introduction to ads. I need to have something for that. Um, maybe... They need to learn how to, they, to grow their page pages. As beginners, they need to learn how to at least get, get up to 10,000 followers in order for their um, pages to begin to convert. Or, um, you know, all of these different things. So what you're doing now, you are now creating different types or different parts or different arms of this offer. You are now creating sub-offers within this main offer. You are creating sub-offers within this main offer. So within your offer, you want to have freebies. You want to have tripwire products. You want to have your regular mid-tier or middle-level products. You want to have your core or signature products within that offer. All right? So within that offer, again, I'll repeat it. You want to have your free or lead-generating product. You want to have a trip wire product. A trip wire product is a product that is so cheap, it makes no sense for the, for the person who is looking at the product to not buy it. All right? Then you want to have your middle level product or your middle, middle price product that is not too high or not too low. It still makes sense. For people who have tested your trip wire product, if they like it, the next general natural progression will be towards that mid level product because you are solving problem after problem after problem after problem after problem for them. And by the time you create multiple tiny solutions inside that main offer, by the time they get to the end of it, they have solved the problem of Facebook ads for beginners. They will no longer have struggles understanding how to run Facebook ads to grow their business to multiple seven-figure businesses. All right? So do you see how we've taken Facebook ads for beginners? I have now created, how many products did I create here? One, two, three, four, five, six products. Different types. I created different types just so you can see that you can create multiple streams of income with multiple products or multiple tools. So I created a free guide inside of this Facebook ads for beginners. One of the three types of ads every beginner must run. It can be four pages. It's just a simple free guide. You can have the cover page and then the remaining other pages can be page number one, um, ad number one, ad type number one, page two, ad type number two, uh, page three rather, 
um, add type number two, page four, add type number three. Then the final page will now be where I will now talk about an upsell. Talk about the upsell. Where I say, hey, now that you know the different types of ads, I will then say, okay, what's the next natural progression for this person? They need to have an understanding on what Facebook ads are. Yes, I've given them the different types of Facebook ads. Okay, they need to learn how to run lead generation ads. They need to learn how to run awareness ads. They need to learn how to run conversion ads. Those are three types of ads. The, I'll explain to them, okay, um, uh, um, lead generation ads or uh, awareness ad is where you actually run ads to grow your page. You cannot start selling if you don't have anybody following your page. This actually helps with your conversion because people are now familiar. The second one is awareness ad where you actually get people to be aware of your products and your services and your brand. You know, people get to know you, like you, trust you. So the first ad, no, is the is the uh, um, lead generation ad, right? So the no ad. The second one is the like, where people get to actually like your brand because you're telling them a lot of things about it. Then the next one is trust, where people get to trust your brand so much that they're actually willing to pay for whatever it is you're offering. That's the conversion ad. That's all that simple free guide will give. Do you know how many people don't know this? I have taught and um, um, Facebook boost your business classes many times, enough times in the past three years to know that there are people who don't even know the difference between a Facebook page and a Facebook group, not to talk of ads. So the next progression is, okay, they know that they must do these things or know like and trust. Yes, it's true. But where do I start from? I can create a simple ebook that teaches them an introduction to Facebook ads. So you see, Instead of me writing one book or teaching one course, I have taken one offer and I have broken it down to six different tools. Tool number two, ebook, introduction to Facebook ads. Tool number three, when you have done with the introduction to Facebook, at the end of that book, I would then tell them, hey, would you like to know how you can actually grow your, your, your page or Facebook page to 10,000 followers with just one dollar a day? Do you know that I could actually record this webinar just as I'm doing right now? Record this webinar and make it a tripwire or another tripwire or middle level product. So from this free guide, I could create two different offers or two different upsells from this free guide. So I have one of these free guides where the upsell at the back of the book will say, hey, would you like to learn an introduction to Facebook ads? I have this ebook for you to teach you an introduction to Facebook ads. Click on this link now in this ebook to get this book. And the book is because you have this particular um, um, free guide, because you have this particular free guide, this is a special link, but this link will expire within so so as for the moment you downloaded it, you know, the link was already counting. This link will expire in X amount of time. So get this introduction to Facebook as ebook right now at 2,000 naira instead of 5,000 naira. That's one. I can have a second type of this same book where it's the same amount of content, but instead of me promoting the ebook, I'm promoting the webinar. <laughs> so I'm saying, hey, would you like to learn how to actually run type um, um, ad type number one where you can actually grow your Facebook page to 10,000 followers with just $1 a day? I teach this in my in my webinar on how to grow your Facebook page or Facebook page growth webinar. You can actually get access to an instant replay of this webinar now at 5,000 Naira instead of 15,000 Naira if you buy this within the next 24 hours. What have I done? From this one free guide, I've been able to direct people to either the book or the webinar. So <laughs> are you seeing what I'm doing? So from this free guide, I've been able to create an automatic upsell to either a book or a webinar, a book of 2,000 or a webinar of 5,000. So imagine that I was now running ads to this free guide and I run ads and I have 100 downloads every day. And out of those 100 downloads, 50 people actually read it immediately. And out of those 50 people, five people get the ebook and five people get the webinar. How much is that every single day, please? That will, I will be able to make more than the money I used to run the ads to that free guide. So if all I do is just run ads to that free guide, and that free guide is leading people to either download the ebook or the webinar, that's money coming to my bank account while I'm sleeping. 
that's money coming to my bank account while I am sleeping. Am I making sense? Then imagine that they are done with this webinar. And I, after the webinar, I say, hey, do you know what? Now that you, you, are, you know how to turn your Facebook page to 10,000 followers with just one dollar a day, would you like to learn how you can actually convert those 10,000 followers into buyers? So you see how I'm taking people step by step with different tools for them to be able to have their problems solved in that one offer. All right? So if you're not thinking things through when you come up with an idea for an offer, you will immediately turn one offer to one product when you can actually create multiple products from inside it and you can scale it. People, am I making sense to you? So from webinar, I can say, okay, I don't want to take people from one class to another class. So instead of taking people from webinar to master class, another class again, mm -mm. I'll take them from webinar to mastermind where they actually have access to some sort of community. So I will now take them from how to grow your Facebook page to $10,000 10, followers per day to how to grow your biz online business to seven figures in 90 days with paid traffic. Same ads, same beginners, same business, same seven figures. Do you want to know how you can now, at the end of this webinar that I have taught, remember it's recorded, though, I, at the end of it, I want to say thank you so much for learning how to now. You, now you know how to use $1 a day to actually get your Facebook page to 10,000 followers. That's not all. These followers need to buy from you. You need to be able to recoup your cost. Imagine that for $1 a day, for $1 a day, you are actually now able to get to $5 a day. And with $5, you're actually able to run ads to your own business, to your products and your services. Would you like to learn how to do that? Yes, good. Then join my mastermind where I am doing um, a Facebook ads guru every three months, right? So depending on when they sign up, like the next one is signing up, you know, so, so and so time. Join the, join, click this link now to join the wait list. When they click the link to join the wait list, automatically they get an email depending on what time of the year it is to either tell them to join immediately because the class, the mastermind is about to start or um, tell them to join, you know, uh, in, in one month or the campaign, and then they can join the wait list and join one month. Or usually if you're going to run an ad for a webinar like this, you want to make sure that you're running an ad during the time when you're actually promoting your mastermind. So Facebook ads group is starting immediately in the next seven days. Make sure that you sign up immediately and then you join in. And then this one is now another maybe 50,000 for 90 days. And in that 90 days, you're teaching them how to grow their business to seven figures with paid traffic. You're teaching them all the extra parts of paid traffic or how they can actually run ads to paid products. Or for the book, after you've taught them introduction to Facebook ads, they've learned everything. At the back of the book, you put a call to action. Would you like to attend a masterclass called The Millionaire Marketer? How to turn your business into a seven-figure machine. Now, look at this. The mastermind and the masterclass, the exact same thing. Grow your business to seven figures in 90 days. Millionaire marketer, turn your business into a seven-figure machine with Facebook ad. Same product, different tools. One of them is a mastermind where it's a hands-on thing. You have, they have access to you, which means it's going to cost a lot more and you're going to, they are going to spend a lot more time with you. The other one is a masterclass where they basically have like a two-hour masterclass or a three-hour masterclass where they learn a, com a crash course of what, they are, of what you are going to be teaching in the mastermind. Now, because it is not as hands-on and it is not live, right, you can now sell this for maybe 20,000 naira, the masterclass for 20,000 naira. You can say, oh, this masterclass is 50K, but you can get it now at 20,000 naira. Because they have tasted your ebook, they are now willing to buy your masterclass at 20,000 naira. You can even give an extra discount with a special coupon code in the ebook for them to get a further 50% discount or 25% discount to get it even cheaper. And they are because they have already gone through your free guide, you've got an amazing value. Ebook, they got fantastic value. Your masterclass is a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer, right? And then the ultimate one, you, know, you can now create a signature offer an online course where you combine basically everything you've done from the free guide, the ebook, the webinar, the mastermind, the masterclass into the online course. So you see, 
you didn't get to create a brand new brand new content again for the online course you just took everything you had in the free guide ebook webinar mastermind masterclass and then you created a concurrent step-by-step -step video to take them from the beginning to the end of facebook ads for beginners so you're just taking this facebook ad for beginners you've helped yourself by expanding on your knowledge and your skills and your experience and you've also created six money making machines this is the secret of offers once you're able to look at ideas that you have and look at all your product ideas that you have and instead of looking them looking at them as products but instead looking at them as offers the sky is the limit for you you can create anything you can even create YouTube video tutorials. You can create podcasts. You can create planners. You can do an even a special um, Facebook ad planner and add it to your master class or your mastermind or your webinar, whichever one, right? So that's why we go back again to those products that we were, we were creating then, those ways that we we're proposing products. You can do email course. You can do an email course, a free email course, and at the end of the free email course, put a call to action to either the book or the webinar, whichever one, All right? You can even decide that at the end of the mastermind or the master class, at the end of the master class, you can now decide that, oh, if you would like to have me run it for you, simply send an email to so and so email address at so-so-and-so.com and we'll help you to run your ads for you. Or would you like to actually get through to the coaching program? So that we can actually coach you one on one on how to do it. Now, this online course is a signature one where I wrote Digital Marketing Magic Start Your Own Advertising Agency with Facebook ads. So, people have gone through all of this, they now know how to run Facebook ads. You can tell them, hey, do you know that you could actually help your friends? run their own Facebook ads. You can start your own advertising agency by learning how to run Facebook ads for other people. So what you're now doing now, you're not teaching Facebook ads again. You are now teaching the business of online agency, online advertising agency. So you're now saying that, hey, you can actually start making six and seven figures per month on the side by running your own ad agency. You've covered all the bases. You have covered all the basics. So this is the secret of offers. It's very sweet. But you know the challenging part? The challenging part is how to implement. The challenging part is how do I now know the difference between offer and product if an idea comes to me? Challenging part, how do I know which particular, how do I, how do I know how many products I can create from an offer? How do I know which particular title or topic will be best as an ebook or a webinar or a masterclass or a mastermind or an online course how do i do all of this how do i structure it together where do i get started from which one do i launch first how do i scale it how do i ensure that this thing actually starts making me money all right how do i ensure that it does that for me that's the challenge because this is i've showed you now you are, you are you are enjoying it and i know it's sweet and see somebody saying sweet for now it's wonderful but the challenge is, where do I start from in, in implementing? Where do I even begin to start thinking of offers for my business? Right? I'm, I'm like, how do I get clarity on what kind of offer to put out there? It's a challenge. It really is a challenge. And I've been there before, so I know. It's the hardest part. Once you get that part down, once you get the offer part down, every other thing becomes easier. All right? And even the implementation and taking it to market becomes easier. As long as you know who can help you or you know how to help yourself, right? Cool. Every good offer takes up to 90 days at least to implement from concept to launch. So from having the idea to taking it up, you know, um, separating the offer, understanding your customer journey, then understanding the different kinds of offers and then the different kinds of products under each and every single one of your offers because you don't have to have one offer, all right? So you can start with one. And, but you can have multiple offers. I have a lot of offers. That's why I have tons and tons of products <laughs> because I have a lot of offers as well, right? 
So there are step-by-step -step processes to follow in order to have a full offer. The product's easy to create. That one is not, it's not hard at all. The hardest part is coming up with an offer and creating the process by which your audience will go from top to bottom, from freebie to basically your signature course. All right. So you want repeat customer experience. You don't want people that will come and buy from you once and then run away. All right? No. You want to be able to understand how you can take your customer from step to step to step. Now, they say that if you know where you're going, the journey is short. If you know somebody who has gone there before, the journey is shorter. But if that person then takes you there, not them, there, your journey will be the shortest. Isn't that true? I think it's one of the elders that said those things, one of our African elders, right? Now, imagine that you could actually be taken by the hand, step by step, as you understand this journey, by somebody who has been there before. Would you follow? Would you follow? If you are able to actually go step by step and have somebody show you these things, would you follow? Let me know. Oh, we have about 90 people here. Would you follow? Right? Absolutely. Like we say in Nigeria, follow who no road. Right? It's important to follow, follow who no road. You don't want to follow somebody who does not know where they're going and then you end up in, in a ditch. It will not be nice for you at all, at all. <laughs> at all. So, what if I showed you myself how to come up with a good offer for your niche? using a five, a simple five-step method. Very, very simple. It will, it's so simple to shock you. If I, you'd be annoyed that you did not know it yourself. What if I showed you how to create offers for every single member of your audience? People complain, that, oh, I have a large audience, but not everybody is buying. How do I make sure that most people buy? It's because you've not yet segmented your audience so that you know exactly what everybody's problem is and how you can actually help them by creating offers. Hmm? So what if I showed you how to create offers for every single member of your audience, whether they are at the beginner stage or they're already experts? What if I showed you how to determine the type of tools or products that are right for your offers and how to create them in no time? How about if I showed you a shorter way to implement your marketing plan so that instead of spending 90 days, you are able to spend a lot lesser. Whether you already have an existing audience or not, you can actually start implementing almost immediately. Hmm? <laughs> I'm going to show you that you don't, when you're creating your offer, let me tell you one secret now before I even you know, wrap. When you're creating your offer, you don't create from freebie to signature offer. That's not how you do it. You create from signature offer back to freebie. I shared this with a particular coaching client of mine this month and she was shocked. I said, see, you want to create offer, calm down. Don't start talking about your freebies. Start from the back. She was like, how? Oh. I said, don't worry. By the time we're done, she understood. You don't start from the freebie when you're creating your offer. You start from the back. Hmm? What if I showed you a shorter way and showed you my own blueprint, how I myself am able to create my own 30-day plans or 60-day plans or 90-day implementation plans, right? I've had plans that I've, I've run for like a year. <laughs> it was, that was when I was learning. But now that I'm no longer learning, I'm able to implement my blueprints and my offers in shorter periods of time. What if I told you that your own writing skills could be making you seven figures in 90 days? I don't want to say guaranteed because, you know, you know how we are in this country. Don't want to say guaranteed because anything can happen. However, if you're able to implement all of these things that I'm going to show you, all things being equal, you should be, unless your skills are not as good as you say you are, unless your skills and, and your experiences and your skills and not just experience, not your experiences, your skills are not good. If you know in your heart of heart that you have really banging skills, whether you're a writer or you're an author, those skills could be making you seven figures in 90 days. Would you be interested? I'm saying, also, yes, 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 yes. Good. I'm glad that you are. So if you said yes, no long talk, join me and 49 others. I know there are, I don't know how many people here. 
join me on 49 others. I only want to work with 50 people. And I know why I'm, I'm saying 50 people. <laughs> I only want to work with 50 people in an exclusive masterclass where I would teach you the seven-figure writer's roadmap, how to scale your writing business to seven figures monthly in 90 days. By the time you get to the 90-day mark, you would know, in fact, you will be able to create products, offers, content that will actually earn you seven figures monthly, even if you're just starting out, All right? There are tools right now. There are tools that can help you to actually hit those goals in 90 days and continue to hit those goals. And I've shared them with you if you listen to this thing again, All right? So I'm going to be showing you the seven figures writer's roadmap how to scale your writing business to seven figures monthly it's going to be taking place next week monday the 30th of august in the evening at 8 p.m to 11 11 p.m so that's about three hours it's going to be online on zoom and the registration fee is fifteen thousand. however 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 if you're able to make payment between now and the next 24 hours you get to pay just ten thousand. If after 24 hours you now want to go there, you will see 15K. And if you send me a DM, oh, I went down, the price is 15K. Yes, it's because it's past 24 hours. So if you can, please click on the link in my banners. Yes. Click on the link. Um, I'm going to copy the link now. Click on the link and get on it immediately. Apart from that, you all know that I like to help you get started, all right? I like to help you get started. And um, I'm going to remove this. I'm going to, I'm going to pin this, all right? So that's it. Okay, so the registration fee is 10K only within the next 24 hours and then 15 hours after 20 and I'm only taking 50 people, only 50 people. The reason why I'm taking 50 people is because I want to help you jumpstart your implementation with a free one week group coaching and accountability program on Telegram. That program is worth over hundred K per person because it's my time and I'm going to be there with you every day. I'm going to be giving you activities every day so it's not just going to be there for me to just answer your questions no i'm going to be giving you activities every single day so from day one you're having activities and you must implement this is why i only want 50 people because i can't deal with too many people there because everybody needs to submit their assignment every single day i'm going to hold you by the hand and you have to do it if you don't do it if i notice that you're silent my assistant will kick you out all right it's worth over 100k because it's my time that I'm going to be working with you. My one-on-one -on -one coaching program is 150K. And I only meet my coaching clients twice a month. They understand. So I'm going to be doing this. And I'm going to be really, really be focusing on helping you guys get started on your implementation plan. So please go sign up immediately. Here's the link. Seller.co slash seven, the number seven, seven figure writers that's the link all right seller.co slash seven figure writers all right all of the details on how to get that the master class is one day the date is right there on the screen it's monday the 30th of august all right and then the tele the telegram group coaching is going to be on the from the first to the seventh of september all right so 31st i'm going to send you the replay of the masterclass for those of you who may miss it and you know people who want to watch it again and again and again i'll send you the access to the replay and i'll also send you the link to the masterclass via email all right on the 31st so you have 31st to join so that on the first we will begin all right so um that's the link there that i've put on in the telegram channel how do I pin from here? Okay, so that's it there. That's it there. That's the link down. It's, it's showing um, at the bottom. Seller.co slash seven figure writers. All right. So go make payment immediately. All right. Make payment immediately. So 
it's going to be online it's going to be on zoom it's going to be 50 people with me we're going to be there for eight to 11 i'm going to be taking you through the step by step what you need to do every day for 90 days to implement this plan okay step by step to implement this plan i'm not here to come and now give you random things that you know just say oh go and do this go and do that no i want to give you this is what we, what you should be doing within this period of time for the first week week one this is what you do week two this is what you do week three this is what you do so you have a blueprint all right it's a road map that's why i say follow who no road if somebody gives you the map that you know that is actually going to get you to where you are going to it's going to be easy for you to get there so I'm going to be giving you a roadmap, a step-by-step -step project. Week one, this is what you do. Week two, this is what you do. Week three, this is what you do. Week four, if you do it like that, if you follow it like that, all things being equal, you will get the results. Okay? So that's it. And I'm going to leave you with one final quote. And it's one of my favorite people in the world. He says, if you fight for your limitations, you get to keep them. His name is Jim Quick. If you don't believe it's possible for you to earn seven figures in 90 days, forget about it. You're very free to leave this class now. Thank you very much for being here. I hope I've not wasted your time. Thank you so much for being here. Hopefully, maybe when we have something else that you believe in, you can come and join us. However, if you believe that because others have done it, you can do it too, then get registered today. My first... Um, the first book uh, that I really, really launched, the A to Z of ebook publishing. It took me three months to be able to make seven figures. I was blessed because I had training. I had coaches. I had mentors. I had people who told me what to do right from the start. And so I was able to make seven, a, a million naira in three, in three months. That was the very first, you know, first time that I was really, really putting myself out there and actually said, all right. The second one million came a lot shorter than that. The second one million came in about one and a half months for me. It was that short. So I went from making one million in three months to one million in one and a half months to one million in one month to one million in two weeks to one million in one week to one million in days to one million within two hours of a launch. And it's, it's been up and up since then, all right? And there are ways to do it. And it's not a magical thing that only happens for a few people. If you understand how the process is done, you will get it, all right? So if you believe that, if it's, it's possible, if you believe, if you don't believe it's possible for you, I can't help you. If you believe that because others have done it, you can do it too, then get registered today. Someone's asking, is the masterclass for everyone? I'm not a writer. You have to be a writer, right? When I say, when you say I'm not a writer, what do you mean? You, you're writing every day on social media. You are a writer. Social media has made writers of practically everyone. You don't have to be writing articles or blog posts. As to, do you write Facebook posts that people actually find valuable? Do you create content that people find valuable? Are you an author? Do you create content that people find valuable? If you do, you're a writer, all right? If you do, you're a writer. You don't have to have been professionally paid for it to become a writer, right? Do you know how to bear your thoughts concisely on, on, online? You're a writer, right? So that's all I have to share for you. And I really hope that you, you get on. Um, I will leave this replay up, up until maybe tomorrow, until the 24 hours, perhaps I'll take it down. That's what I'll do. So um, if your friends don't know about this, you can share, share it with them, especially your writer and author friends, All right? That's it, I'm done. If you have any questions for me, please let me know and I'll answer your questions, All right? So, I mean, this has been fantastic. Um, Madhu says, oh, wow, I didn't even know I was a writer. I mean, you don't have to be, have been professionally paid to be a writer. The first time I was ever, ever actually professionally paid for anything that I wrote was when I wrote my book. But I had been writing for years. I was a writer.
for years, all right? I was a writer for years. Thank you so much, everybody, for listening. If you have any questions, I'll be very happy. Please take screenshots if you can, and um, and share them on your social media. All right, share them on your social media, and tag me as well. Emeka says um, many thanks for this ample opportunity to learn about how to make multiple streams of income. Awesome. Um, Deborah says I bought your publishing agency course and it was a blessing. Yeah, you're talking about the online publishing agency. Rotesh says, sweet, sweet four nails. Hi, Aketi. Good evening. Aketi says, so much sense. Um, Wilfred says, I'm really blessed from this class. Um, thank God says, uh, I thank oh, God, good food boss, pardon me, says, I thank God I attended this class, so I'm not a writer, I'm a culinary tutor. But everything you're saying here really applies to me. I'm so glad I attended. I hope you now know that you are actually a writer. You are a tutor. I'm sure that you must have written content to give value. If you have, you're a writer. You don't have to wait for somebody to validate you first before you know that you're a writer. All right? I don't, you don't have to wait for somebody to validate you first before you know that you're a writer. You came here for a reason, even though you're not a writer. But you came here and you learned something. All right? Eketi says, um, wow, this makes so much sense. I've been, I've been thinking single products instead of offer to products. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. All right. Well done. Thank you. Eketi says, many artists can afford their own masters. Eketi says, also when I was talking about like, um, buying the master instead of the product. All right. All right. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much, everybody, for watching. Dre says, thank you so much for breaking down um, funnels. Um, Emeka says, you are worth my time. See you at the masterclass. So who has paid for the masterclass? Now, let us count. Who has paid for the masterclass? If you've paid, put, put in the comment section that I have paid or I've joined or I've signed up. Let me know in the comments. Who has signed up for the masterclass? Please, please, please put in the comments. I, I can... I cannot see any alerts, but I can tell that some people have started signing up already. So if you have started signing up, let me know who has gone, all right? Linda says, this class is superb. Thank you, VC, for hosting this. Deborah says, many thanks. Um, Andrew says, thank you so much. Akhetti says, I'm off to pay. Awesome. Yes, great. So. Um, Omolara says, how long is the class? When does it start? Okay, I'll just change the, the slide again. The class is on Monday, the 30th of August, 2021. It starts at 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. I'm going to be teaching a lot, so it's going to take about three hours. But we'll have breaks in between, so it's not like you're going to sit down and just be, be staring at, at the screen for three hours. We'll have a, a couple minutes break in between, okay? So... It's going to be 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. West African time. That's Nigerian time. All right? Get to signing up immediately. Don't say you want to wait till tomorrow because life will happen. You will forget. And then when you now go there tomorrow evening to check the registration fee, it will be 15K you will see there instead of 10K. You don't want to do that to yourself. All right? All right. Um... All right, and like I said, see you at the master class. Corona now says, try signing up my cloud. Card was declined. You can use other payment methods. You can use USSD transfer or bank transfers if your card is declined, or you try again. All right? I'm sure it must be a network thing. Okay. Awesome. So, who has signed up already? Who has signed up already? Let me, let me know who has signed up already successfully. Right? Let me know who has signed up already successfully. Um, Andrew Olobo says, I'm a podcaster. Please suggest tools I can use to transcribe to words. I'm not sure what you mean. Tools that you can use to transcribe to words. Are you talking about transcribe to written or from written to audio? From audio to, to text or from text to audio? Please clarify. Okay? Please clarify. Who has made payments? Let me know. 
who has made payment and the payment was actually successful. Um, Ahura, and I hope that you have actually sorted out the issue with your card. Okay. Um, Augustine, thank you. Linda says, my night was made. Mrs. Yedide is here. Thank you, dear. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining me, ma'am. Um, Andrew says, so, um, suggest tools I can use to transcribe to written words. Use, use Google Google Docs. Google Docs has a, a dictation enabled. Um, they have dictation enabled, so you can actually dictate your words and turn them into in, into um, into into words. <laughs> you can turn them into words. All right. Um, Bruno says, "What is our CBN policies? The Wahala I've done almost." Hundred dollars purchase this month, hence the decline. Are you outside of Nigeria? Because I think the, the prices are in naira, so they're not in dollars, so you can still pay. They are in they are in it's in naira, not in dollars. Okay. For Oronana, it's in naira, not in dollars. Um so you can pay in, you can pay in naira because the, the currency is in naira, okay. So what you'd want to do for, for people who want to maybe um, record and then have your recordings as you are talking be transcribed automatically in two words. Um, so you, you have to use another device, right? I don't know if a phone would work, but if you can have Google Doc on your phone, you can open your phone and open a Google document, a brand new Google document. All right, and then enable dictation. So as you're talking, it will be listening to your words. It will not necessarily be 100% smooth, but you can always go back and edit it. Okay, so um, Google Doc. So open your Google Doc in another device as you're as you're talking, and then enable um, dictation. And as you're talking, it will be picking on your voice, and it will be um, transcribing for you. Okay. Steps to follow to pay. Click on the link, okay? So go to the link, uh, responsible daughter. So here is the link. Let me pin it for you. Here is my comment. So there's the link. I just pinned it there now on the screen. You can copy it out, all right? It's S-E-L-A-R, seller.co slash seven figure writers. So click on the link, it's very easy. So once you click on the link, you will see all the information. So keep scrolling down. Please read all the information there. Where it says read more, read all the information there. It will explain everything to you, including how to confirm your registration and all of that. Then just click on register here. When you click on register here, it will take you to the payment page. Then just follow the prompts. It's very, very simple and very easy to do. Okay? All right. All right, Precious says a million thanks to you, VC. I really learned a lot from tonight's program. I'm glad you did. All right, Rahima says thank you for an amazing time and value as always. Hi, Rahima, good to have you here. Thank you so much for coming. Prince says thanks, Linda, for introducing me here. Better days ahead. I'm glad. All right, Basil says please, I write only articles. I hope you came early because. I talk about how you can actually convert your articles to books. I gave an example of somebody who writes blogs and converts his blog to books. And you can actually start teaching from the knowledge that you have. All right? Um, so, yeah. You don't have to be an author first. You're a writer. You're a writer. You have knowledge. You can convert your knowledge into offers. Okay? Um, I'm going to leave the video up till tomorrow evening when the... Early bed is going to expire, then I'll take it down. All right. And then everybody else go and make payments immediately. We're only having 50 people in this class so that we can have enough, I can have enough time to be able to answer to every other person in the group coaching aspect of it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we have one person says, 
I've paid. You get it? Has paid. Yay! Congratulations to you. And see you on the inside. Who else has paid? All right. All right. Okay. Runa says I'm outside. I'll find a way out. Ah. All these are our broad people. Yeah. It is well. I'm sure you'll find a way out. Bele. Okay. All right. So thank you so much. I'm not seeing any questions anymore. I'm going to leave this up. Please tell your friends and tell everybody who missed it to come out and watch it immediately. It's still the same link, okay? But thank you so much again for being here. Thank you so much for listening. If you are here and you haven't yet subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do so. Subscribe and check out my videos. I have tons and tons of valuable videos and valuable content here. Okay, so please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for whenever I post a valuable video, you will find it valuable. I recently did a video on how to use QR code, how to create QR codes for any link you have for free, all right? Um, so for people who want to write books, for example, and have your books in print, you want to use QR codes are your best friends. So go and watch that video on how you can create a free QR, um, QR code with your, your the links to your freebies, the links to your courses and your classes, the links to your other books, and links to a whole other things as well, all right? So go and create a QR code for your links, okay? Then, um, if you are not yet following me, follow me on Instagram as well, at Edinia If you want to tag me when you have taken a screenshot of this, uh, tag me on Instagram. I'll be happy to repost you on, your, on my Instagram stories. I have 11,000 plus followers. I'm sure they'll be happy to see you and check you out and see what you learned. If you if you write more content about what you learned here, that will be really, really helpful as well. Okay? So um, follow me on Instagram at Edwin Edewo. If you came here from anywhere outside of my Facebook community, I have a Facebook group. It's called um, Online Publishers and Entrepreneurs Network or Open for short. All right? That's the link to the group scrolling at the bottom. Just take a screenshot, right? Take a screenshot and... Um, and follow us okay please follow us on join our facebook group all right i share a lot of content there as well i have weekly live videos that i do i have monthly videos where i invite experts to come and teach on a particular subject um and a whole lot of other amazing content i write a lot on my facebook group so it's a whole lot of content that you can also check out there as well and finally sign up for the seven figure writers roadmap on the screen on with the link on the screen there okay remember that registration is 10k between now and the next 24 hours after 24 hours it's going to be 15k and you also get to be part of a group coaching and accountability program on telegram which is worth over 100k all right all of the details are there on the link so if you just go to the link seller.co slash seven figure writers then you'll be able to um get all the information. Let me even make this a lot darker so that you can see it. All right. All right. Omolara has also paid as well. Omolara says paid. Awesome. Congratulations to you as well. So we have at least two slots that are already gone now. So it's remaining like 48 or so. So make sure that you sign up and get in immediately. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mrs. Nenaya. Um, appreciate, I uh, appreciate you coming in. Basil said, um, I write only articles, not really professional yet. Can I still register? What makes, what makes a professional writer? A professional is simply somebody that is being paid. Does that take away from the fact that you are a writer? I said earlier on that I've been writing for years. The time that I actually got paid for my writing was when I published a book for the first time and launched it, right? That was when I got paid, but that did not stop me from being a writer. So, the fact that you're not professional yet doesn't mean that you're not a writer. And this is your great opportunity for you to actually become professional in your writing. So why won't you take advantage of it? So I hope that you take advantage of it because this would be a very great starting point for you in your professional writing career and actually maybe even help you get published eventually. Okay? All right.
Oh, from. Okay. So I think we've come to the end of the road. This has been great. This has been fun. I've had an amazing time teaching and showing you the magic of offers. And maybe you can now finally go and tell everybody, all right, and create your own fantastic offers and get on the program. Thank you so much for listening. This has been wonderful. Have a wonderful evening. Talk to you later.